There are many tales and myths about how the world came to be. A popular one among Native Americans is about how a great turtle swam deep into the sea and found its way back with a lump of mud on its back. It was said that this lump of mud became the earth on which we stand, and it all grew on the back of this turtle. If this story were to ever be true, it would be easy to narrow down the species of this great turtle to the snapping turtle. This picture is that of a snapping turtle that was discovered by researchers in an old lake in Maryland. This turtle most likely just got out of brumation, which is the term for hibernation in cold-blooded animals. The weight of the load on its back was estimated to be around 18 pounds. The turtle has a very hard shell, so it's probably not even bothered about the weight. It's more concerned about getting some sun and stretching out. But why do these turtles brumate, and how do they do it? The snapping turtles are commonly found in the eastern parts of North America, as well as the southern parts of Canada. Like most reptiles, the snapping turtle looks for a warm spot during the winter because cold-blooded animals also get cold on the inside. At the beginning of winter, the turtle swims deep down into the mud and seeks refuge there through the cold. They can spend up to eight months there. If you are wondering how they respirate during this period, the snapping turtle is blessed with a breathing ability known as cloacal respiration. This means that they extract the oxygen in the water and breathe through their cloaca, which, if you're also wondering, is located in their butts. With this ability, the snapping turtles can stay underground for a very long time. Due to the low temperature, their metabolism is slowed down and their oxygen demand is reduced. Once it's spring and the water warms up, so does their metabolism. With this, they have enough strength to move up shore to get enough sunlight to help with the cramps and acidification that occurred while they were in. However, not all snapping turtles brumate. During the winter, some still roam the frozen lakes slowly and steadily, as far as their slowed-down metabolism can carry them.